This is a San Diego episode. We're out here, beautiful San Diego Bay. Veronica's right there. We got these kayaks from Eco Boat Kayak Rental. They're a new company, but the owners are super, super sweet. And Josh, one of the guys who works with them, is awesome. He has his own channel. You should check it out. But man, nothing like being on the water in these Hobie passports. So if you guys ever, ever are in the San Diego Bay Area, look up Eco Boats. They're pretty freaking awesome. Check them out. Wow, how many do you have? I have six singles and three tandems. And they all hobby pedal kayaks. Yeah. And you said you started the business in May? Or it started like in February, but May. So Russ, he owns a sailboat. And he is doing sailboat charters for last three years from this location. And on February, we opened this dock, but we work for two weeks. <laughs> and we got like a closed because of lockdown. And we reopened on May 9th. So it's like only three months from now. Wow. And how has, been, how's, how has it been coming back? It's good, we like it and people like it. Like for this little boat, we usually sold out on Friday, Saturday, Sunday for kayaks and start picking up because people didn't know about it. But now they see another like people posting on Instagram about yeah. fishing on kayaks in San Diego Bay and it get more popular. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> and what's up with the dogs? There's a lot of dogs on your Instagram that like yes. you guys really like to show. <laughs> we're dog friendly and we have a lot of dogs on these guys on pedal boats and we have had some on kayaks but smaller ones. And I don't know, we have had over 200 dogs for the last three months. <laughs> dogs usually like it because it's a lot of play. They can lay down on cushions, enjoy the ride while you're working. <laughs> oh yeah. They're very stable, so my buddy and I, we can both stand up in it. Um, oh, we'll nice. just put the shade down and we'll either stand in the front or the back. And uh, when the boat wakes come by, it's super stable. It doesn't move around too much. And Josh gives tips too. Yes. Uh, so if you guys decide that you want to come, which we highly, highly recommend it so far. Like we're, they're getting us all set up with two Hobie passports. These are 12 foot pedal drive kayaks. So hands-free operation, a lot of cool things. So you'll see us out on the water on those here shortly. Veronica's getting her little shade on. Kate is hooking her up right now. Josh is really knowledgeable. He fishes this area and La Jolla all the time. So he told us where to go and hopefully we can, we can land some halibut, shorts, whatever. Even some spotted bay bass, never caught spotted bay bass. So that'll be nice. Yeah. Got a spotted bay bass <laughs> look, <laughs> look how surprised he is. It's so sad. No, we don't get him it's up like the north. the mackerel of the sea. <laughs> is it? Okay, so there, so probability wise, what do you think, Josh? How, what's my, what's our percentage of catching them after you saw that swim bait or the, the Kalen's grub? Uh, probably a 10 out of 10 for you. But if that doesn't happen, I'm going to be pretty ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> so Kate said that that's, boat, that's you know, your sailboat I, I, over yeah, there? Yeah. Well, well, oh, yeah, is that it? Wait, have, where, where's this one? You see this green canvas? Oh yeah, boat. nice. It's not like I'm trying to save And then why, why'd you start the kayak rental? Like what, what drew you to it? Oh man, that was like different uh, things. First, the place itself, which was empty, and uh, secondary, I was thinking we will be able to collect a little more trash in the kayaks when on the sailboat, you know. But in the future, we think we'll find some group of people to go out regularly and uh, scoop the plastic from the area. But we also fishing kayaks, and you guys can use it for fishing. By the time, if uh, you'll find time to scoop the plastic the same time you fish. That's in general the best. You do something you like, you know, and, and can be helpful. So does that does that tie into like why you named it Eco Boats? Why yeah. is it Eco Boats? Yeah. First, like seriously, we're not planning to use anything with the combustion engine. Like uh, keep it uh, clean. And uh, we like idea of pedal uh, pedal kayaks and pedal boats because uh, all what you burn it's uh, your calories and you can go out and explore the bay very quiet very and it's beautiful experience so being on something quiet in the bay it's all what you need go on what is this
<laughs> it's a sculpin. Got a sculpin. <laughs> First fish of the trip is a sculpin. Just like Ballast Point. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's a beautiful fish. First fish of the trip is a sculpin. On the drop shot. <laughs> There you go. I don't know, maybe a spotty. Yeah, my first spotted bay bass ever. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. These things look so cool. There he is. My first spotty ever. <laughs> Pretty cool. Got him on the drop shot. It's like gorgeous out here. And seeing these big old boats is pretty, pretty inspirational. <laughs> this is all cool. Man. Look at these things. It's like being amongst giants. You guys are in for a treat today. <laughs> We're gonna learn some new techniques and it's gonna be a new species. Well, we've gotten them before, but it'll be a new species actually targeting them today. What in the world? Oh, oh, this is Jeans right here. <laughs> Who's? Oh, uh, Kid uh, Pals. Kid Pal. Yeah, so you want some metal jigs right here. These are high boats made in Long Beach, and these ones are from the land of the rising sun right here. Wow. <laughs> so, so give us the game plan. What's, what's happening? Yeah, well, going for Bonitos, they like shiny jigs. So there's different ways as far as retrieve. You could cast long casts. You could either crank it in and burn it, or slow retrieve. Or the third one, cast, let it sink, pop it up, let it sink again, pop it up, and now cause them to uh, react and strike on the jig. It's kind of cool though, when you, especially on the surface, you see your jig pop up, you see the bonito just swiping at it, swiping at it. So that's that's the two ways using the jigs, or the three ways actually. So have you pick and find the pattern you want, and hopefully we hook up. We're gonna watch the master at work for a little bit, and then uh, jump in there after. But this is really cool. <laughs> totally different style. We're waiting for everything to come and show up. We got all this water <laughs> and uh, sometimes they pass the pier. So that's what we're waiting for. But what do we see here so far? Well, we're seeing bait fish down there and they were running. So therefore they were being chased by something. The question is, is it mackerels or is it bonitos? Uh, people say bonitos too. So bonita, bonita, bonito, same thing, tomato, tomato. So don't get confused. <laughs> so we're hoping to show up, man. Uh, Watching around, do a few casts and see if you get lucky. But from uh, yesterday's report, they started showing up around 10 a.m. So I'm hoping the same thing. What time is it right now? 9 one so anytime now, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So Veronica told me you guys keeping mackerels, huh? Yeah. We haven't, we haven't, we, we, we tried. We tried a few uh, weeks ago and uh, we didn't have any luck on the mackerel. So if we catch one right now, what's that? We cut it for bait and you'll up your chances. Oh, that's right, that's right, yeah. Mackerels love mackerels. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mackerel is showing up. Nice. I'm ready. I'm ready for those fish to appear. Hi, Chua. No, nothing yet. Good to see you. Good to see you. Baby girl. Oh my god. Meet our daughter? Hi. She's so oh. instead of crying. Hi. She's out of nowhere. And sometimes she's out of nowhere. Where's Hi. Sweetheart? Harlow J. Harlow J. First one. That's what we're after. Yes. Uh. First drop, first cut. First drop today? Yeah. You just got here. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I just got it here, man. Got it on that, huh? Nice. Thank you. How are they not hooking up over there though? All right, look at that. 
Yeah, that's what I got last time, like that. Beast mode. Nice. One fish per taco. Jeff's got one on the feather. Oh, it's a good one, huh? Yeah. Oh, dude, that is a good one. That's a big oh, one. Dude, that dude, that's a nice one. That's a good grade. That's a big old bone. Dude, that's solid. Hey, take it. What? Take it home, bro. Really? Dude, thank you, man. That's a nice one. All right. Take them up. Take them up. There's more out there. All right, all right, sir. I got bold that out there. Nice. Thanks, Jeff. Wow. We just made it back to the Central Coast. Let's fry up these mackerel. So we did bring our vacuum sealer, and we vacuum sealed them. Those are our mackerel. This is one of the bonito. Shout out again to you, Dino, Jig Jig Pal. Thanks for all the hospitality. If you guys don't follow Jig Jig Pal, you guys need to go check him out right now. But we're gonna cook these up and have a good mackerel fish fry. They're actually really good. Especially at this size. Everything comes out real crispy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, he missed us on the trip. Missed us so bad. We wanted to bring him with us, but just didn't work out. This is almost gonna be like a traditional Filipino minus the fried rice. It's like it's called the. Uh, what is it called? Tapsilog. Tapsilog. Yeah. Almost. Tapa. Like uh, almost. tapa. But this one now is is the log. The log. <laughs> With da. eggs is it log. That's right. Is the log. Is the log. Is the log. It log. Is the Mm. But so, so Veronica's first time trying uh, Bonito. Bonito. It's been a long time since I had Bonito, actually. He took a bite. I did. It's really good. Add some salsa. Does it remind you of tuna? Yeah, it's similar to tuna. This stuff is extremely spicy. But just like a couple drops. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. Mess it up. <laughs> but but yeah, it's good to be home once again. Special thanks to Eco Boats. You guys made our getaway really awesome. It was a really good getaway. Uh, a couple things you didn't see. Uh, we went out and caught some. Uh, barracuda wow. caught a couple barracuda that was pretty awesome mm -hmm. that was cool and then also mm -hmm. on the way home we had met up with Leroy and we'll have an episode one day when we just go through the Japanese market but we went through Tokyo Central it was really good we got so much junk food it was terrible terrible but uh, <laughs> it was a well-needed getaway we haven't been out of our town since February COVID. since COVID COVID yeah since right before COVID, so that was actually well, well needed. It was a limpet. It was a limpet. <laughs> keyhole limpet. It was a keyhole limpet. How cool, we got baby today. No. You didn't even fish it. Get going. <laughs> got him. I just realized you're sitting down doing nothing. <laughs> Dang. God, boy. Got him. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool shot. You? 